As Africa brace up for this year's Social Impact Summit, partners are speaking with one voice on the need for more collaboration as it is key for reimagining progress and a short blueprint for sustainable growth. This was the major thrust of an appreciation gathering ahead of this year's ASIS. Details in this report. Good evening, everyone. It was an evening to unwind and appreciate partners for a successful edition of last year's Africa Social Impact Summit ACES 2023 and project for the new year. The ACES is a gathering of leaders from the private and public sectors, civil society organizations and development community to find innovative, sustainable solutions to Africa's key developmental challenges. We have over 1,500 delegates. As guests unwind, network and catch up, they are reminded about the essence of collaboration and how far the summit has come. Um, the lesson from the summit for us is why it is a great moment when we spend you know, a couple of days together in between summits we've not done enough work to ensure that the conversation continues. Yeah. This year's summit has been tagged Reimagining Progress, a new blueprint for sustainable growth in Africa. Olakbe Dribikwe is of the Stalin One Foundation. She is of the opinion that silo execution is not sustainable. Idri emphasizes the need for all hands to be on deck in the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals by 2030. Africa Social Impact Summit is not just an event, it is an execution platform where we have a collaborative framework on how we go forward together, the projects we will execute together, the initiatives we will prioritize together. So it is not definitely not just an event, it's a convening to birth new ideas and to inspire new projects and to scale existing fantastic projects. As we ask what areas of collaboration is to be expected this year, the partners speak enthusiastically about how to drive impact investment in Africa, economically, environmentally and beyond. A challenge for everybody in the world who signed up to and committed to the Sustainable Development Goal Goals and like tonight's event when we're talking about connecting and partnering, no one country can really make that shift that needs to be made. It's a, it's a collective, it's a partnership, it's a coming together. If we're really going to make a difference to the future for our next generation, to their life chances across those sustainable development goals. It is, we're doing quite a bit, you know, it's, it's what we can do. But of course, naturally, we're supposed to be able to do more. You know, but um, resources are limited. But we're still happy to do the little that we can in supporting the Nigerian government, the Nigerian creative ecosystem, you know, and we will continue to be here. Focused a lot on how we can draw down uh, resources. And also conversations this year will, so, will also be tailored on how you can, you can deliver functional uh, programs and projects that addresses, uh, you know, the impact of climate change you know, a, you know, a circular economy and all the different policies that can help to accelerate, uh, you know, uh, climate impact uh, solutions. In addition to developing new frameworks for sustainable development, ACES provide a platform for impact investors to make investment in existing African solutions, tackling the issues on climate change, circular economy, education, health, wash, renewable energy and agriculture. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.